Hello my maniacs, welcome to another episode of Tool Maniac TV. Nice, we have himself here, Mr. Nick Bundy. Nick, how Hello. you doing? Hello. Adam. Hello. Adam. <laughs> Always throwing his dummies out the pram. Oh, so, yeah. Nice, to, this has been long, long in coming, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, we've been on about first, what? Well, Six before, lo yeah, before lockdown, we, uh, Nick's going to explain a lot of things today. Try to. Or try to. Try to. Um, we gave Nick one of the uh, uh, TM to go electricians, and he and of course we gave Adam his apprentice starter kit, which he's expanded on since then, hasn't he? Yes. And uh, what we're going to do is because Nick did a video, oh, crikey, months ago, wasn't it? Wait, yeah. Was it before lockdown? Beginning a lot, very, very beginning a lot. Very early. early. Yeah. And I know from speaking to a lot of you maniacs that uh, you. They're all waiting for it. I know. They're all know. waiting for it. So I said, why doesn't he come here and we'll do the whole thing together? How's that? That sounds like a good thing. So, are you back to work, Nick? Yeah, back to, well, full time. Four, full four days a week. Um, I'm still teething, teething and get back into it. But, yeah. You know, it, it's one of the things of, I really enjoy lockdown. Him not so much. Uh, mm -hmm. He was itching to get back, but it was one of the things of, I had that many phone calls throughout the whole yeah, you told me about so, that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It was time to get back. Once everything's settled a bit, be yeah. cautious, gloves, masks sometimes when the customers want us to. So, yeah. yeah, get back into it. It's just trying to finish stuff, stuff off from before while trying to do new jobs. It's Were there many jobs left over? Yeah. 10, 15. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That was a little like finishing. For yeah, so no, no, no massive things, but right. just finishing off or, or a few garden lights and whatnot, stuff that we didn't manage to do, but nearly there. So things like garden lights, I mean, did you go? Yeah, well, we, we didn't do any jobs. I mean, quite a few electricians around my area still still working, never stopped. Really? Which annoyed the hell out of me, to be honest. I mean, we ran into one guy at wholesale, didn't we? And he went, oh, it's great that you've been off, Nick. I said, why is that? He says, because I've been doing all your work. Oh, God. And I was like, all right, cool, 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 cool. That's fine. That's not cool at all. That's, uh, that's fine, as he, as he looked up at me. Um, but now it's, we had two, two, you didn't come with me anyway, because obviously uh, from separate households, we couldn't. Yeah, band with me. Uh, they were just a waste of time, and uh, now I've just been enjoying spending loads of money sat at home. Oh, wasting money! Excellent. Yeah. No tool buying though. No, no, believe it or not, um, we got good use out of all the stuff. I mean, we used a hell of a lot at home. We right. got garden, got lights, lounge, office, everything. Right. So it's come to a stage where I want to go back to work, but also I have no money left, so I have to go back to work. Oh, there so you go. Uh, yeah, so it's uh, yeah, we're getting there. Well. You, you should be out working. You haven't I've been here doing a video. Yeah, it's a nice day off, isn't it, mate? Yeah. Yeah. Nice day off. Day off. Yeah, not been working too hard to start with. We're going to have to start doing things properly, properly soon, right. unfortunately. So, we've got, we put this one out to show, but this is your kit now, isn't it? Yeah, so I'll just slightly run through. This is Adam's apprentice bag, which we've slightly adapted. Yeah. Uh, obviously, we've done this in previous videos as well. So, this is the XL bag, which is mostly first fixed tools for right. hatchery wires. Uh, drill bits in the front. This is my testing bag that we put together. You, so this is the one I like. I, yeah, when you so told me you're doing that, I thought that was a great yeah, idea. Yeah, so originally this is the obviously TM to go bag, which is that one over there. Um, mm -hmm. After using it for a little bit, like the bag, like the box, like the material, everything about it. So turn this into a testing bag. So got the front pouch off here. Uh, we've got the, so this is the BD kit, the screwdriver set, which originally comes on the to go bag, yeah. which we put on here. Does that live there more than yeah, on so, the TM? Yeah, because obviously a lot of this in here is duplicates of your screwdriver set in here. Yeah. The screwdriver set that I would normally use throughout the day, which I would just normally keep in my pockets, you know, my cutters, your normal terminal drivers, all that sort of stuff, same with pockets, so I don't need this as much. So this is why the double Velcro works well. I've only take it in. We're doing a fuse ball, we're doing a testing. Right. We just solely use this bag, um, empty my pockets back into the other bag. And like you've got a tester, we've got um, locking off kit, we've got the earth clamp meter. That's could have done with a bit of a tidy, but hey, hey. Um, so that is essentially your, your preference is mega, isn't it? Mega, I prefer mega. Yeah, no, there's no uh, real reason to it other than my your college, well, we have the same yeah. college, we use mega there. My very first boss had a mega tester and just stuck with them since. But yeah. we've got Q Tech plug top continuity stickers that sort of stuff in here the most of the stuff that you would need to pretty much change the fuse wood or carry out like 
fully EICR or that sort of stuff in here. So, so this is this is how your flow goes now, isn't it? Yeah, so, yeah. So we're a hundred percent. These two come out ninety nine percent of the jobs. Every right. job. Um, anything where we need a, a bit more stuff, Adam's bag comes out as well. Right. But a lot of the stuff Adam carries in his pocket on top of it. So if his bag comes in, if he's working upstairs, I'm downstairs, or a big kitchen, Adam's bag comes in. But then when we do rewires or bigger, messier jobs, then this one comes in, this has got like your hammers, your lump hammers, your chisels, uh, pulling floorboards up, all that sort of stuff. And obviously yeah. you've got the drill bits in the front. Now, whilst we had a cup of tea, and you're moseying around this wonderful yes. display, <laughs> Nick's got a suggestion here, which he hadn't seen this particular piece of kit before. So, do you want to talk through, Nick, the reason why you would prefer... Because you've got to remember that, and I've said this and people still not getting it, the whole tm to go system is totally customizable. And at that point, I will say, although we only decided on these few items, I've found that new apprentices coming on board are actually going, surpassing this, they're buying more, you know, but it's a starter point. Just as an addition uh, on this video, do not forget that we have finance facilities. These bags, the uh, tm to go varies from the apprentice, a couple of hundred pounds, 300 pounds, right the way through five, six, 700 pounds. We have the finance facilities if you are coming back to work after a long break, I think just give us a call. It's on the site as well. Thank you. See you soon. Uh, I'm pretty sure Adam's got more that yes. Nick's passed him on. Yes. Do you want to explain? Because that was a great thought that you came out with. So this is what you have from the TM. Yeah. Right. But you reckon that this is a better, better option, solution yeah. with a torque driver? Yeah. Because so this. To my knowledge, this doesn't come with the torque driver itself. So we're supposed to, we've got the torque driver for the fuse board stuff. Um, but then it always lived in my testing bag. But most of the time with the testing bag, if I've got my cutters and everything from my tm to go bag, everything in here is great. Realistically, we don't need two handles as such in here. It made a lot more sense when I saw this to have the actual torque driver itself with the, the screwdriver attachments and one handle. Okay, right, that makes sense. That can come as a testing kit with the testing bag rather than have another set of cutters and grips because we already most of the time have that in our pockets anyway. Right. Um, yeah, so it just made more sense. And like you say, on top of it as well, that'd be a great little kit to have an additional thing on the apprentice bag to upgrade from when they start to do the fuse boards. Um, so are you suggesting that, uh, that maybe we change out on the apprentice bag this kit for that kit? I think so, yeah. Well, give them the option. Be, yeah, give, give them the option. option, but I think it, with a lot of things, a lot of fusibles, like everything has to be used for correct torque then. Everything yeah. has to be done up as manufacturer's instructions. If they can get used to straight away using a torque screwdriver from the day off, like well, he's been doing, it will become second nature for them then to start. Oh, right, I've been fused, right, get a torque Have you been doing, sorry to interject, have you been doing that, Adam? Yeah, Are you yeah. actually doing all the talks now? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's yeah. interesting. So yeah. it's, it's obviously only come in, I would say, common knowledge probably in the past couple of years of everything has to be done to correct court torque it's put on the back of fuse boards yeah most of the time what it should be or on the breakers um and i think very soon it's going to be brought into the back of you know switches or sockets there will be a torque setting on there so most of the time you will just have to use a torque screwdriver so that's where the customizable uh concept comes in yeah because i wouldn't have done that i wouldn't have known that uh so this one Thank you very much. This is a fantastic kit. And yeah, I, I love, do. I like that and one. I love the, one the, of my the favorites. And the, 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 the crimpers and the pliers and everything. But if you've got that standalone separate in here, which it comes with, yeah. that sits in your pocket, then that is, is gold, really, for what we want to be doing. So that that's that's better for your testing bag. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. So uh, it's a hell of a system that you've now got. It isn't is. It? I mean, yeah. we've customized it slightly. Like I said, we've chucked a few things from here to here. I did the front of that, obviously this separate bag. We've yeah. got the uni lights on the side because they come in perfectly. We're taking, uh, we're doing, by the way, we're doing a, a deal with uni lights. They'll be on our Chill Maniac store soon. Yeah, so, so uh, I highly rate them. Um, so there are that many videos where they're in any small cupboard. We've got Christ, a, a hell of a lot of yeah. lights, like the pen ones, the cap ones. Just with electrics, I mean, I've probably said this in the videos before. When I first started, I would buy cheaper lights, eBay lights, £12, 12 volt flood yeah. lights. They were fine, 
until it comes to charge and after a time. But being electrician, most of the time we turn the power off, it's always dark, so it makes sense to have a good light constantly. Yeah, constant. Um, and that's where these will come in. Obviously, these are power banks as well, trying to be phone up, or what we've done a few times the GoPros at work. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, it just works well with itself. And when I spoke to these, because as you know, I'm more automotive, they've, yeah. they've come out with a really clever... The bar system. The bar the system, which yeah. is, they slide it down, you point it, yeah. makes a lot of sense, because you, 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 when you're on a car, it's like you on a, on a you don't want to be holding exactly. your hand, do you? Yeah, yeah. this is a good thing, I mean, it's rare for me not to wear a hat. Many people have seen me with that hat on for a long I time. Know, I know, you know what? <laughs> I knew there was something missing, he's been here yeah, for two I'm cups Batman of tea. Hat. I'm Batman. That's it. Uh, What's up to the hat? I managed to uh, call me the after giving me a haircut the other day, and it was semi decent, so I thought, oh, I'll take the hat off for a bit. I'll be a bit go. more professional. He'll be just... promoting product next. Uh, <laughs> selling Batman hats. <laughs> yeah. um, with the hat or head torches, they'd be cracking head torches. Really? Um, you've never really used a head torch yet, because yeah. I'm not letting them in a loft as much. If there's anything, you come up with me, but if there's anything technical in the corner, I'd rather do it, explain it, or while you're holding the loft and the station back. But to have a direct of the light while you're working without having to faff around, because when I, just before you came with this, most of the time I'd be going around with my, my torch on my phone. Oh, really? Really lost. Oh, my. Because oh. I hadn't invested properly in lights, but yeah. now you've done that, I've got, well. A lot of people are, a lot of people pushed us to sort of say, you, you really need to get, yeah. A deal done with Unilight because I'm yeah, looking at them. Um, it's the angles, the rope. I mean, we have dropped the big one, 12, 15,000, uh, a nice. lot, and it's, it's never broke. I mean, they did a video being run over by a tank. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. It, uh, but no, the great bits of kit, the little ones, the big ones, the sound bars, not really necessary for us because we've got a radio, not that I ever touch the battery on it on. But <laughs> yeah, no, it's good. And the, you can always play with it. Um, switch change coming out of the van and say this one rarely ever comes out but it does the purpose and I like everything matchy matchy so this this because you, you've added to this yeah you know and, and it's it, the other thing is it's the switch you put you know the, the fact is that you can take that and give it to Adam yeah and he can go off to another part of the house and so on and so forth you yeah. can swap things around and like I said before you've uh, we've got some of the big velcro pads which I meant to uh, sort my van out so we could do some filming, but that's yeah. not happened. <laughs> um, some of the extras can go on the bulkhead. Yeah, yeah. so uh, along, it's, I'm not going with me, but the micro screwdriver set or the spanner set or the stuff that won't come into every job, that has a bit of weight to it. It's pointless me logging it in. That makes so sense. to me, yeah. him logging it in. Yeah. Why it's carrying the broom. What? Um, sorry, mate. Cheers. For bringing that excess weight in, if it's not going to be used, it's pointless bringing it in. Yeah. So if we stick on the bulkhead, uh, it's out of the way. And uh, it's a great little system, but then again, sometimes you go, ah, I need to go get it. So, yeah. sort of fun. But so well. what's your take on now? I know, I think when we first met, you were already uh, moving to Vera yeah. and Nipex, weren't you? You had some, uh, but <clears throat> this has been a big shift because you've now got everything. We've done everything, <laughs> yeah, isn't yeah, yeah. it? With the, uh, the Vera and the Nipex, how are you finding everything? Good, good quality. We've not had a screwdriver break yet because that was one of the things, but like I said in the video that I did, I am being more careful because it's not the cheapest stuff in the world. My old screwdriver is where I would buy full well know I'm going to replace in a couple of weeks because I'm going to be smashing okay. the hammer. I don't want to do that with this stuff. I want to take care of it, which does make it last a hell of a lot longer. But it, I don't know, sort of, this sort of stuff speaks to itself. One white paper after a job, it comes up brand new. Same with the bags. My video, people didn't believe me that I'd had it for three no, or four months. Trust me, which on this one, they were dirty. We just gave them one wipe. A damp cloth wiped it over, but they did come in here a bit grubby. Yeah, yeah we were wondering whether or not we left them grubby, <laughs> as the guy that last commented on your on our video. Yeah, so uh, I've used this stuff. You go back four or five months, well, five six months now. For videos, yeah. but the first time I've started using this stuff, um, you know, everything's a good nick. I love using the stuff. A lot of the time, it's still left in my pockets because really? it just. Well, well, Adam's still got a pocket full of stuff there, yeah. You like those, don't yeah. you? Yeah, oh, they're yeah. cracking, they really are. Yeah. Um, and because of me, I'm trying not to keep everything in my pockets all the time. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to put it back, and when I'm doing something, I'm just like, oh, And all of a sudden, Adam's this little screwdriver will come next to me, and I'm just like, it's mine. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so, yeah, no, and, and like, it, to me, it's the aesthetics of it as well. I just think they look really nice, I do. And they look smart. We've had loads of comments from people yeah. in the house. So obviously, if we're doing a big job, we would instantly just bring it, everything in. You know, when you see them all lined up like that, it, it looks right. Yeah. You know, if I saw someone coming into my house and I'm like, wow, 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 
that's a proper system, isn't it? And it's, it's, I suppose it's marketing, isn't it? It is, it is. You know? um, I mean, we've... Yeah, and this is marketing. Yes. You know, looking the part and so on and so forth. Yeah, it's all that about my hat. It will come back. There was something missing, that's it. Um, but yeah, there's, I said, there's a few really cool, like if you want to run through the key features, the, the, the key set for all the different type of uh, cabinets, that has saved us a few times because normally I would just, my key's not with me at the moment, just a normal plastic meter box key. I must have gone through about six in the past year because they keep snapping and obviously you keep on your keys. But for stuff like this, especially for quoting, when you need to go around, you need to find out what system it is or the earthing arrangements, take that with you as long as the uh, adaptable screwdriver set, you know, the, the flick out one. Um, stuff like that, you don't use it very often, but when you do, it's paid for itself it, straight away. It, it, it's the same in, in automotive. I mean, I had a massive snap on uh, collection, and you think to yourself, I need that tool because. I'll do it that, that job. Yeah. I'll do it again. It might be a year down the road when you come to use it. But and then you fair. know exactly where that tool is to do the job. Yeah, I mean, I've done this quite a lot with the um, the flat pliers, the grip. Sorry. Yeah. Um, I think I said it on the the Tresham video. Uh, oh, because I, I hadn't used it yet. I'd only had it a week and I hadn't had a chance to. I don't to, think to you said it, actually. I said all these other ones. Is that but right? Now I see perfectly that they're perfect for glamping. Because right. obviously, if you use any type of other grips with the, you've got the. the the etched grips in it, oh, what would you call it? Teeth. Teeth, that's it. Jeez, I have come, come for a reason. You knew why you brought it. Yeah, now you know why you brought him along. Yeah. Right. Jog your memory. I'll get you McDonald's later. <laughs> get you a nice toy. Um, <laughs> you do mark the glands very easy because they are brass, but with the, the flat ones, the absolute dream. Yeah. Um, and now picking stuff up of we hadn't used before from a previous video to the bending screwdriver set. Um, yeah, I asked you about that. Didn't yeah, I you, did you use it? Yeah, a few times. Because um, that was that someone was... decided to put a boiler very close to a fuse board, and we couldn't oh, get yeah. in. Oh, really? But then again, I took out the little ratchet set, which is oh, just gorgeous. Pick. Oh, that's I absolutely nice. love it. Yeah. Um, what we're we doing the other day, I couldn't get a screwdriver in and just put a screwdriver attachment in. Oh, perfect. That straight just away. went oh, right straight away. I mean, I got massive hands, so it doesn't really work very well. But in there, and it was just perfect. Yeah. Really, really was. So everything I can happily say, every tool I've got, I have used and I've tried. And as well as the, um, the flex stripper, so the tail stripper. Right. The Nipex one, I think you've got it just there on the end. Which one? This one. Oh, oh the Ergo. Oh, oh, great bit. Oh, this is, this. I love this. Yeah. So what I told you, I was up a ladder doing some wiring and I had, I had yeah, you know, Adam's favorite pliers in my back pocket. And I went, hang on a minute. Came down the ladder, went in because you're all um, on those desks in there, and I went, "Let me try this." Yeah. What? See, a for me, kit. I'm not really using flex because we've been using the Nipex cable strippers, right? Um, which are a great bit of kit as well. But for when I'm doing fuse boards, so if I know I'm doing fuse boards, this is one of the things that I want to keep in my TM to go bag. But at the same time, if I'm doing changing the fuse board and I'm bringing my testing bag in, yeah. which has got my torque stuff in it, that can sit in there. The stripping tails. It's just an absolute dream. Straight around. It was my trusted electrician that I first saw that I used it and I was like, oh, that's, that's interesting. Yeah. But now I've got it, I wouldn't use anything else. Because beforehand it was just a pair of grips, right temperature, right temperature, right pressure, yeah. strip it off. It's great. Nifex won awards for that. I'm not surprised, yeah. it's great. Because yeah. you know, they, they do put a lot, they're very like uh, Vera, because um, every two years there's a Cologne fur. Yeah, right? And there's it. all sorts of things in there. But a chap that's been in tools forever that we were talking to recently, he said the only company that came out with new product every two years was Vera. Yeah. And I think Nifex is trying to um, work towards that because they've yeah. got quite a few nice new things that have come out. So when, when we spoke a couple of months ago, when they were, the same thing came out and they had what, over 100 new products, yeah. some of them like, yeah, the... Oh, the, the, this, 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 the, some people think that the, the jury is still out on these, but I would say with the, the ones that we've sold so far, the, I think it's 87% of them. Yeah, you know? I mean, we've got the little, is it 10 to 13? Yeah, the little one there. Yeah, yeah. which is uh, ideal for what you need, anything bigger, it's, I wouldn't use that sort of stuff, but it's great. Uh, in at the side, twist it around. Yeah. It makes just that little job that little bit quicker and easier. Yeah. Uh, but once you give it the chance and give it a go and you see the time you save, it's, yeah, we don't, they love, love these. And they look cool as well. They do, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I think 
I think you've got a lovely system here. I think yeah, it works, it works well. really well. It's one of the key things to spread up the day big time. We know what we can use. It takes a little bit of time to get used to it, definitely. From my old system with just an open toe tool bag or toolbox or everything like that. It, uh, if we know what job we're doing, we can talk about it on the way in the van or open the slide door about we need this, 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 and this. Straight in, it's there. And you know where everything yeah, is. You know where everything yeah, is. That's yeah. Yeah. Put it back Do you have to it. remind him, Adam? He does it. He, oh, it most of the time it's me. It's him sorting it out rather than me. Yeah. Really? I mean, I'm a bit OCD with stuff. But when it comes, he knows full well, it comes to the end of the day and it's just like, right, I will just throw it in or I'll put it on the floor, won't I, as yeah. I'm trying to get paid from the customer or sorting something out. Right. right? And I'll come back and I don't notice it because I don't look in the back of the van because he's already sat in the van waiting for me. <laughs> and I'll drop him and I'll go home to take my tools out for the night and I'll look at it and go, cheers, ah, Adam. <laughs> and it is everything, because it makes sense to put everything in the right spot. And yeah. you know full well when you've lost something on a job, which I was terrible. <laughs> I've replaced that many tools because we went to a job, the old couple were on the corner of the extractor farm, and they went, Oh, Nick, don't need your hammer in the loft, loft again. And last year, I put an extractor fan in, forgotten about it, I had no idea where my hammer went, and then I went to back to go and change something else for them. There's the hammer. And I found my hammer in the loft. I was like, and What was the <sighs> difference from losing the hammer to finding it? What was the time slot? Eight months. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd already bought another hammer. Another hammer. Um, and I was like, oh, God's sake. But it's, it's things like, most of the time it was screwdrivers. Um, lacked, lack of poor lighting again. Yeah. Don't have that issue anymore. I can see where I put it down. Um, but then again, when I go to loft, sometimes, instead of putting my pockets, because we've had the issue sometimes, which a lot of electricians will do, the loft hatch sometimes is this big. Oh, God, yeah, yeah Let's yeah, be honest, yeah. I'm not this big. No. And you would struggle sometimes to get through it. I've gone into lots before where I've had to undo my trousers. <laughs> you have a toy body. The pockets are all the stuff in it. Yeah. To give them to the loft hatch, put my trousers back on. Yeah. Uh, customers loved it. Um, <laughs> but taking a set up like this, if you know for a while you're going to be up there for a bit, yeah. so take it up in the packet and you know for a while you've not lost anything when you, you bring it right down. That's, I think, to be honest with you, we're there a thought this through. Yeah. The whole Velcro system. Yeah, the Velcro, I mean, it worked really well. Um, it's lightweight, it is durable. Um, and like I say, you don't have to have, I, I have a, a pet hate for these moldy plastic boxes, it's, you know, scratchy boxes. Like yeah. I had a, a few Bosch whole source sets like it, and I just hate the feel of them. Um, these are, these are, the, when I first kicked off with um, Vera, they didn't, they weren't all rubberized. But now everything, every yeah, one of these pouches well, is, yeah. is, you know exactly. So if you had them all lined up inside your bulkhead, you know exactly which one you, you, know exactly which yeah. one you want, don't you? Yeah. I like. I, I don't. I'm not sure if other manufacturers do that. I'm not seeing it. I can't. It's when it's the, the, normally it's the it's whole hard, velcro. Yeah, it's a so. hard case with uh, just a normal sticker on it that will get trashed within five seconds. Being in my yeah. mouth. Um, probably last long if you had it, but it, it wouldn't last long. But I mean, these have been worn for quite a bit now, chucked in my van, tipped upside down, go around corners, and there's, there's no damage to them. They just need a good wipe every now and then, yeah. or a Hoover. And most of the time, we've got some big wipes in the van, once over, it's done. Very easy to keep clean. And as well, they don't fill up full of water, water or rubbish because they have a lid on it, which my old ones didn't. So you, we would be in the that. job and they'd be in the van or a customer's house and I haven't got a dust pan or anything else to go and I'd be chucking bits you of tape on your previous videos. And it'd fill yeah. up and then it comes to the end of the day and you go, right, okay, why is my bag five times heavier? Or build it next year. Oh yeah, or someone we've all chased the wall and there's half a brick in it and so <laughs> we don't get out of this. So yeah, bricks well. And another thing, it doesn't have any zips. I had issues with zips before in the past. I can imagine, yeah. On bags. Yeah. Um obviously we don't have the issue here. Takes a while still, to get used to the. It, it, yeah, the I was going to say that, the, uh, the, 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 and they haven't worn down. The spare, but the, 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 that you don't use that one that often. Yeah, so no, so that yeah. one. And so, but even when I'm sticking these two together, because obviously on the back we've got the the, the carrying. So that itself. I mean, doing some research before I did my video. Uh, before, this has always been stuff from here. These come out of the van at the same time with one handle. Yeah. Um, but looking at what you can do with it, obviously if you go on certain jobs, yeah. then you can literally just adapt that and chuck a few things That's on it. That's the just whole idea of it. Instead of just... Yeah. It's actually carrying. Called, that one's actually called a tool carrier. Yeah. yeah. yeah so. so that's another cool. But like you say, work your yourself out system, how you want to make your day easier, really. Make your day yeah. easier. The quicker you get the job done, the quicker you can go out. Yeah.
Back well, to your you children. Well, boys and girls, you've now got it from the man himself. The much awaited, uh, how do you use your Vera to go? Nick, thank you. Pleasure. Adam, as always, thank <laughs> you very much for coming. No and the links below, etc., etc.